Thank you for visiting bestbiblecommentaries.com. In this video, I'd like to show you the Outline Bible by Harold L. Wilmington. Before I do, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel to see videos on Bible commentaries, study Bibles, and other resources that help people understand the Word of God. The Outline Study Bible was written by Harold L. Wilmington, and it's just a, a wonderful tool for pastors, uh, Sunday school teachers, small group leaders, really anybody who's leading a Bible study or communicating the Bible to other people. This is just an excellent tool. I myself have used it in preparing sermons, and I've also used it preparing lectures on Old and New Testament books. Harold Wilmington uh, who passed away a few years ago, was a longtime professor at Liberty University in Virginia. And he has written several books. Um, this, I think, is one of the more well-known ones. But still, I think there's a lot of people who don't have it on their shelf and who could really benefit from it. Now, here's the neat thing about this, uh, this particular video. I'm going to describe for you what the Outline Bible is, how it can be useful to you, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you or tell you where you can access the content of the Outline Bible for free. There's nothing to sign up for, no strings attached. I will tell you how you can get use this resource for absolutely free, and I think it can be really helpful to a lot of people. So, the Outline Bible outlines every single passage of Scripture. There is not, um, the Bible is not printed in this book word for word. It is, so it's not like a study Bible type of resource. Um, but every chapter and verse of the Bible is accounted for in the outlines that Wilmington provides. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples, one from the Old Testament and one from the New Testament. So an example from the Old Testament, I picked a passage from the story of Elijah, and it's from uh, 1 Kings chapter 19. So the outline Bible is just a, is, is arranged just like our conventional English Bibles are arranged. All 66 books are in order, so you just turn to the book of the Bible that you want. So, um, 1 Kings chapter 19 verses 1 through 7 are organized in outline form. The title of this, these seven verses is Elijah Under a Tree. A. The Curses chapter 19, verses 1 through 4, Jezebel vows to kill Elijah to avenge the death of her prophets. Elijah quickly flees to the desert. So A is the curses, verses 1 through 4. B is the comfort, verses 4 through 7. In the desert, Elijah collapses under a broom tree and prays that he might die. But an angel of the Lord comforts and feeds him. So just by looking at that example alone, you can see that Wilmington organizes these seven verses in a very helpful way. The first four verses are talking about the curses. The second four verses are talking about the comfort. So he uses, this is um, called alliteration when he's using the same letter to describe the curses and the comfort, both words start with C. In a lot of his outlines, he uses alliteration, which some people find very helpful when listening to a sermon or listening to a, a lecture because it helps the hearer remember what's said. That's, that's what studies suggest. The alliteration can help people um, retain what is being said. So let's look at another example. So the next passage is Elijah in a cave, 1 Kings 19, verses 8 through 18. So verses 1 through 7, Elijah under a tree. Verses 8 through 18, Elijah in a cave. After being strengthened by the angel, Elijah travels 40 days and nights to Mount Sinai, where he spends the night. Point A, the confrontation from the Lord, 
verses nine through fourteen. Now I, I won't I just I won't read every every word, every description now, but let me just give you the outline. The confrontation from the Lord, chapter nineteen, verses nine through fourteen. B the commissioning by the Lord, chapter nineteen, verses fifteen to seventeen. Now there are three sub points under fifteen through seventeen. Anoint Hazael, king of Aram, anoint Jehu, king of Israel, anoint Elijah to succeed him as prophet. So even that, those verses are um, have a, a sub-organization to them. And then see the correction by the Lord. Note the alliteration again. The confrontation from the Lord, the commissioning by the Lord, the correction by the Lord. And that point C is just one verse, verse 18. So we have Elijah under a tree, Elijah in a cave, verses 19 through 21, Elijah alongside a field. Every passage in the Bible is organized in an outline form like this. There are, before I show you another examples, um, let me just mention that parts of the Bible, where there is some overlap of content, are harmonized. You can still find every chapter and verse, so it's still um, you can still identify um, scripture that way. But for example, um, uh, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy sections of those books are harmonized, where there's overlapping content. But you can still find chapter and verse that you're looking for, so no passage or verse is left out. Um, another example would be um, parts of there's parts of First and Second Chronicles that overlap with um, First and Second Kings. So those sections, some of those sections are harmonized. So now I give you an Old Testament example. Let me give you a New Testament example. And I chose Mark chapter 5. So at the beginning of the chapter, there is one, two, three, like a four-sentence description of um, the content of Mark chapter 5. And then there is the first outline. And Wilmington titles the section, Jesus Releases a Demon-Possessed Man, chapter 5, Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 20. Now, Wilmington outlines those 20 verses in one, two, three, four different points. The first one he titles, The Despair. The second, The Deliverance. The third, The Disbelief. And the fourth, The Desire. Jesus releases a demon-possessed man, verses 1, one through 20, and then verses... Um, 25 through 34, Jesus restores a suffering woman. So here's an example of, of, of some of the arrangement you might come across. So if you notice there, there, there were some verses skipped from this passage to this passage, but those verses are found over here because Wilmington arranges the material on Jesus' resurrection of a dead girl together. So verses 21 through 24 discuss that story, and then verses 35 through 43 discuss that story. So Wilmington organizes that story together. So it might first appear that, well, he skips some verses, but you just look, and, and sometimes there's some uniqueness to his arrangement because he puts narratives together, and sometimes scripture, um, for different reasons, will start a story, tell another story, and then finish the original story. That just that happens. I won't get into why that happens right now, but it does happen. And so, and so he organizes, but he does organize every single verse. So Jesus releases a demon possessed man, verses one through 20. Jesus restores a suffering woman, chapter five, verses 25 through 34. And then Jesus resurrects a dead girl, verses 21 through 24 and 35 through 43. So there's three different outlines to cover Mark chapter five. So as you can see, I think that, um, even if preachers did not use all of the alliteration, for instance, it still can be a very helpful tool to just get a sense of how the text is organized. Of course, commentaries do this uh, 
study bios can do this. There are different tools that can do this. Um, I, I just think that this is uh, a particularly helpful way, especially if you want to borrow his alliteration, <laughs> um, because some of it is very memorable. So every, again, every book of the Bible, every passage of the Bible, every verse of the Bible is organized in this outline form. It's actually a pretty heavy book um, because there's so much material covered. Um, it's almost 800 pages in length. Now, here's the really neat thing about this resource. You can use it for free. Liberty University and the Wilmington family after the death of Harold Wilmington, made all of his books and tools that he developed like this available for free. In my experience, it's not easy to find them in just a simple internet search. So I am going to provide a link underneath this video that will take you to these free resources. And not only will you find this entire outline Bible available for free, you can read it or you can download PDFs of it. Um, you will also find Wilmington's lectures on systematic theology, um, prayer, um, and other topics too. He, he was... He wrote on a number of different issues related to Bible theology and ministry, and all of that material is now available for free online. Um, you can download it to your computer. Very easy to use, very easy to do. Um, and so it's just um, it's an amazing gesture by the Wilmington family and also Liberty University to make those resources available for free. Because you guys, in my opinion, these, these can be very, very helpful to pastors and teachers. So I hope this video has been helpful to you in understanding the Outline Bible. Thank you for watching it. Please consider subscribing um, to my channel to see more videos. And thank you for visiting bestbiblecommentaries.com.